Hey, greetings everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the new labels in Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook version 6.8 summer of 2022. Stick around. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Ham Radio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, so let's get started with uh, looking at the new HRD logbook labeling. And um, I'm going to do a few labels here and just kind of demonstrate how this uh, feature works. But let me start by saying that we've completely replaced the code that was doing the printing, the label printing. And um, before, it was... Uh, it was doing printing uh, with code that we had written internally where we had to manage the margins and things of that nature. And it was just, it, don't, it worked for some people, but not all. And so I was frustrated with that and I wanted it to work for everybody. So we went to a third party library uh, that was suggested by one of our beta testers. Um, thank you very much, he knows who he is. And um, it's working fantastic. So um, we're going to be able to do a lot with this. We're only just showing the tip of the iceberg here. I'm also, I've also got um, a Brother QL700 here with some uh, labels in it. And um, so I'm going to show this and then I'll show, also show what it looks like to print um, on the... Uh, laser printer with sheets. So let's get started. I'm going to open a th this one up just to make sure because I'm going to do an address label too. I just want to make sure that I've got his address and that's all good. So I can right click, come down to print labels. I'll show you another way to do that here in a moment. And you get this. So this is the new look. <clears throat> the nice thing about this is if you want to zoom, you want to see, you know, what this label looks like close up, you can do that. If you want to change it from modern to traditional, you can do that. If you want to make the fonts larger, you can do that. Um, if you make it, you know, if you, so I've got the, the year cut down to two. If you use a four digit year, it'll send you over. So if I want to use a four digit year, I just lower the font. Um, and then, so, you know, I have, uh, I'm going to print the selected records. I've selected my printer, so you can select whatever printer you want. And if you select a printer that has two um, label rolls, it'll give you the choice of selecting the right one or the left one. And that, uh, that was important to some folks. Um, you can select QSL labels or address labels. And you can do the traditional... And I'll talk about the um, ARRL um, bureau sorting here in a little bit. So thus far, let's just say I'm going to use, I'm going to do the um, traditional kind of looking thing. I can, um, I can also add in other columns. So now I can add in any column at all from the uh, database. Um, if I wanted to add the comment field, for example, here's the comment field. So I can select it and add it. And then the comment would show here. So if, if you have certain things, certain fields that you've used for whatever, you can add them in. I don't put a lot on mine, so I'm going to take the comment off, but that's how you would do that. And then simply, I'm going to click print and watch what happens right here. It prints, and just so you can see it, it looks exactly like it did on the screen. Awesome. So let's do a different one. I'm going to change this to modern. And that's what it's going to look like. I click on print. And you can see that it looks just like it did on the screen. I could select several. So um, I'm going to exit out of this. Let's just say I selected, I don't know, four of them. Here's the, the quicker button to get there. That'll take you straight to this. It'll show you the ones that you've selected. 
It's going to have your settings from the last time you printed. All you really need to do is print, and it would print those. Now, you can, once you have this all set up, you can actually skip the print preview. So watch what happens when I do this next. I'm going to exit out of that. Let's say I want to do two, and I click the print label button. This time, it's just going to print them directly. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. And so this prints the same way on a Brother, Dymo, whatever. And the nice thing about it is, now if you want to go back in, you can't hit the, if you hit the print label button, it's going to take you, it's going to print for you. But you just basically come down to file print and you can get back to the, to the dialog box here. And um, so that's, that's about the printing and what you can do to add, you know, if you want to add in the sub mode because you did FT4 and it's a sub mode of MFSK, you can do that. Okay, because I'm going to be flipping around to some other things, I'm going to undo this button for now because I want to be able to come back to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a bunch of labels or a bunch of QSOs and um, I'm going to click the print label button. And it's set to do the brother labels. And you know, let's say I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go and print them on label sheets. And I've got all these ready to go. I can print preview. That's all good. And then um, I'm going to select my label sheets. Of course, I'm, I'm in A4. And I'm going to select uh, these, which have... Um, it shows me right now 32, this is how many records I've selected. Now I'm, I'm seeing where I'm going over in the margin here. So when I see that, I'm gonna truncate the year and that still didn't get me quite to where I wanna be. So I'm gonna go down one more point in the font size. And the reason why that's showing up like this is because now I'm doing much shorter, um, much uh, narrower, labels than I was before. So hang on one second, I'm going to print these and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to go put the label stock in the printer. So now that I've got the label stock in the printer, I'm going to click print. And I can hear it printing. You can probably hear it printing too. So I'm going to hold this um, in front of the camera here so you can just see it but um, you'll hear the ones at the bottom and and that's what it looks like um, again since I'm doing three wide um, they're going to be narrower I, I recommend the two wide it's just that I didn't happen to have those but that's what you do there and um, that's cool so all that works and it works because we're no longer managing the dimensions of the labels so that's helpful so let me talk about some of these other things. Um, you have the option to print um, modern with the AWRL Bureau sorting. So if I click that, it's automatically going to sort them by country prefix, which is the way the AWRL wants them. They want them sorted by country. And then within country, they want them sorted by call zone. And then we also added a, a third sort to it, which is by call sign. So if you're sending them to France, for example, and you've got TM1ABC and F1ABC and F3ABC and so on, they'll come out uh, F1ABC, F3ABC, and TM1ABC within the one call district. So it's easy for the people who receive them to sort them and all that stuff. But if I printed this right here, you'll see that they're all going to get printed. Um, and you can, by the way, you can resize this. If you want to see, you can scroll down. Um, and, it, and again, it works with any, any paper or printer because we're using a third-party library that prints in, in some very popular other software. And, and so it's nice because we don't have to try to outsmart the printers anymore. You could also do that with a traditional and that's what it would look like. And so, all right. So we covered um, the different label printers. Um, you can see if I select Twin Turbo, 
it's going to come back and it's going to say, well, um, you want to go with the right roll or the left roll? And you can select that. I don't happen to have it connected right at the moment, but um, that's that's what it's doing. You can change the font. You can toggle the band. So let's look at, um, I'm going to see the, the font is so small on some, or the, the font's a little large on some of these because they're really kind of narrow. So if I were paying attention, I would have taken the font down a little bit to squeeze all that stuff into one row. But eventually, you know, with with labels this narrow, you can see it's right now. But with labels this narrow, it just starts making it a little bit difficult. Um, I need to go back to the 29 inch ones, that's or 29 millimeter ones. And then I can take the font back up again uh, to where I want it. Okay, so lots of capability there. Um, let's do the address labels. So we're going to click address. And you can see a bunch of stuff goes away that we don't need anymore. Um, again, you can change the font if you want the font a little larger. You just got to watch and make sure that you don't run over um, whatever. Um, and uh, you can do it with the barcode if you want. That's kind of cool. So if it's a country that supports the barcodes, um, you can do that. Uh, so that's, that's that piece. I'm going to go back to QSL label, so I don't have to put everybody's address up there the whole time. And then uh, the last thing is, is that down here are your QSL sent options. I haven't been using them while I've been in this uh, demonstration, but if you you can turn this on to say, okay, once I once I print them, automatically mark it as yes via the bureau if that's what you're doing or direct. Um, set the print date or set the sent date to the print date. That's what that is. Send via if you want. You could put bureau there if you want and it'll um, change all that on these uh, labels when they get printed and um, uh, or sorry this this actually gets saved in the database under print via so I'm not going to do those now because I'm going to do my own labels later but that's how that works if you ever decide you need to reset to a default you can do that down there and um, let's go back to the um, let's go back to the um, AWRL Bureau printing thing for a moment. Um, down here, you've got a button that lets you view the sort. Now, let me say again, the sort is sorted first by AWRL prefix. Again, I explained it a while ago. Then by call district, <clears throat> and finally by call. But if you want to see the sort, you can click on this button and it'll bring you uh, um, a list that shows you all the all the ones that are sorted and why they're sorted where they are. You can see under the K4s, you've got a, a bunch of K4s. They're all sorted in alphabetical order, um, but you can scroll down and see how all of them are, are sorted that you're printing, and, and the ARRL prefix is on the left. So <clears throat> that is what I got to show you for, for this today. Um, don't miss this uh, this ability to skip the print preview because that's really handy. If you just want to you know quickly print labels, you just have one button to click, and it's this one right up here. So you're able to do that. So um, let me tell you what else is coming. Um, we're going to be adding the ability to print directly on a QSL card, whether it's a pre-printed card. That will be the first thing. So, for example. I have a pre-printed card here. I might want to use that. It'll print the stuff directly on the card. That, that's coming next. Beyond that, we're going to add the ability to print envelopes. So if you want to print the address, you can print the address with the uh, return envelope. That'd be pretty cool. And you can decide whether or not you want to put your um, return address on it and with or without the call signs um, you notice if I come over here to the address labels again um, I can hide the ad the call sign from the label some folks wanted that so that's the scoop there and um, that's what we got coming but this basically eliminates 
all the open issues that we had for label printing. And uh, we're going to be leveraging this same capability to print award applications. So, for example, if you're applying for a CQ Worked All Zones Award, you'll just go in and, and print it right out of Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. And it'll come out with all the QSOs on it that you want to have checked and your, your application form. And we'll do that for all the application or all the uh, so we can get templates for. All right, so that's it. 73 from Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo.